Man, D, so I'm really looking forward to today's video. Honestly, I got a lot of talking points, but before we get into that, I want to tell the audience about a couple of people that we really rock with. Number one, Rubler. Guys, we brought this up last time. This is a groundbreaking new app that is Black-owned, one as well. And then two, it's an app that actually appreciates you. You can customize your feed so you only see what you want to see when you open the app. Secondly, you enjoy a safe environment where racism, harassment, hate speech, and bullying isn't tolerated at all. And you can enjoy a fun, creative, mannered, respectful discourse. And three, honestly, in my own personal opinion, since using this app, I've cut down my usage on other social media apps tremendously. I like to say this app is similar to Instagram and YouTube had a perfect baby where all of what you loved about the two apps and none of what you hated about the two apps were in it. So, guys, stop sleeping on Rubler. Check them out. An app that appreciates you. And number two, excess sports nutrition. Need a bit and boost. Crack the seal on one of these and keep winning. So, D, look, there's a lot going on in football. <laughs> but keep winning. <laughs> keep winning, man. But there's a lot, there's a lot that um that's happening in the football world right now. And I really want to start with this. What's at stake for Joe Burrow this year? And before you give your take, I gotta say, and I know this is an unpopular opinion, but as much as I love Joe Burrow, I think a lot is at stake for him this year. I believe if he has another energy and another injury, if he has a bust of a season, the perception of Joe Burrow will be he's a one hit wonder. Now, is that fair? Absolutely not. But is it true? Yes, in my opinion. How do you feel about that? I don't think it's true at all. One, he's already had more than one good season. It's just about the health of him. And as long as he's having a healthy year, they're going to come to. And I don't put no extra pressure on any AFC quarterback, point mm. blank, period. One, yeah. you have, no matter what, you have Patrick Mahomes to go through. I don't really care who you are, you know what I'm saying? As long as he is healthy and in the playoffs with a solid team, you know, that's a tall task. It's just a fact right now. Two, it's the rest of the comp. You know, there is no, there is, there will, in the AFC, there will not be an easy playoff bout this year at all. We'll see mm -hmm. what next year looks like. But this year, the worst you might get is Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and I love the playoff style now with the extra team where it's only one bye. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? That extra team could be Rodgers. That extra team could be Herbert. That extra team could be Pittsburgh. Yeah. You ain't going to have no easy game in the playoffs. Yeah. It's just the truth. So, you know, some of your favorite guys going to lose to, you know, your favorite guy's favorite guy, like a guy like Russell Wilson. You know, but let's see. But let's smile at the games after him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cheap shot. <laughs> yeah. But, all right, a cheap shot aside, let's say Joe Burrow gets injured, right? And or or let's say he gets bounced first round. You don't think that he'll be considered a one hit wonder after that? Because in to me, in my opinion, because he nope. didn't get a chance to play last season, he's it, because of the injury last season. Because he didn't get a chance to play. If something happens where an injury or he doesn't make it to the playoffs, I believe the perception on him will be that he's a one hit quarterback, one hit wonder quarterback. Because when was the last time we saw him actually achieving things? It was against it was a a loss to get a bit against Patrick Mahomes in the AFC Championship game. I don't know to tip you on today. You, 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 you sounded like Acho. Ooh. <laughs> you saw you said you talking about Ocho? Yeah, Acho. No, Acho to me that be on the that one show with Shady and Joy. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no he he just he just he he just dropping the uh, the most outrageous line. Like I'm surprised you even think of Think of Joe Burrow like this. I again, I preference, I preference everything I said too by saying that I actually love Joe Burrow as a quarterback, and I said the perception of him. I didn't say I would feel this way. I said the perception of him would be. This yeah, way. would you take him over uh, Jared Goff right now? Like, I wouldn't take well, anybody over. I wouldn't take anybody over Jared Goff right now. Jared Goff that's is crazy. Great. That, Bro, no, that's crazy. That's crazy. You, if we, look, if we could, if we could swap off. <laughs> <laughs> It's Joe Burrow right now. Hey, look, hey, look, man. Honestly, you hey, you're might. The, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the GM. Hold on, you're the GM. They both, I think, already signed on for their money. 
Mm-hmm. If you could just if they if they was like, hey, we'll trade you Burrow for golf right now. Yeah. You on you gonna look you you not taking you not taking Burrow? Dude, honestly, what okay. Let's let's be fair. Let's be fair. They both made it to the Super Bowl, correct? Uh huh. They both lost in the championship game, correct? After making it to the Super Bowl. Yep. yep, yep. And you're telling me Joe Burrow is that much better than Jared Goff? You're smoking on something right hey, now. Nah, don't. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, don't don't be one of those. You're, that, you're like, smoking on something right now. You're smoking on something. No, right we're now, talking bro. about in Matt in Madden terms. One guy will never pass eighty eight. The other guy will be in ninety nine. All right. That's what I'm saying. All right. You so, think Joe Burrow's a ninety nine quarterback? Burrow ain't never had a hold on, like you said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you imagine? No, this Joe is Burrow? hold on, no, no, no. This is crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is crazy. Hold on, this is this is this is crazy. This is crazy. You're saying Joe Burrow's a ninety nine quarterback? I think if he was behind the lines, <laughs> he's oh my, he'd bro, be you're, you're bad, smoking bro. on something. Hold on, right hold on. Was These Joe Burrow takes... not? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Answer this: Was Joe Burrow not in the finals in the Super Bowl? With a bad old line, he was, wasn't he? Man, imagine that Lions old line. All the time in the world, it'd be like when he was in college throwing six TDs and five the yards. To okay. what we got? Like, hey, I'm, hey, I love, I hate. I'm a hey, golf. I'm all for golf. So guess what? They're not gonna, they not gonna make that trade because it's dumb. Yeah, like, yo, if, if I sound like, yo, if I, I, sound I, like I, I love golf. I love golf because I love that he's here now, and you know what? He's paid now. It is what it is. So you know, I gotta like him for at least the next three years. But hey, if, if I sound like Emmanuel Aiko, then, then you sound like Dennis Ocho Cinco. Because this, <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Bro. Joe, first you said Joe Burrow's a ninety-nine quarterback. Let's let's be honest here. I say if he was let's behind be the Lions though, line. You know what I'm saying? So the better on line, he's a 99 quarterback. But man, behind yeah. that Lions O line, he would be, yeah. So you're saying he'd be better than Patrick Mahomes 99% of the time, is what you're saying. No, that, that's just 299. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this that's is, all. This and guess what? Head to head, head to head, he's been better than Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> head to head. Now getting the job done. Has he? Hey, has you know he? What I'm saying? Has Patrick he? Mahomes in one game has on he? Broken head damn near. You know? Has so, he? Has he? Yeah, has he been he has. that much better? Bro, so wait, hold on, hold on. Because when so, nobody had to, when nobody had the spotlight Josh on Allen it, is better? hold on. You think when, Josh Allen is better than Joe Burrow? Yeah, I believe that you cannot put Joe Burrow above Josh Allen currently in the way things have played out in both of their careers. It, that would be blasphemous. You know what? Josh Allen has had I'm better. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Josh five. Allen has had better playoff performances than Joe Burrow against Patrick Mahomes. Like he's had actual masterpiece performances that turned out to be losses against him. I'm not saying Joe Burrow different didn't, but if we go back to Joe Burrow's actual playoff against Mahomes, the one where he beat him, Mahomes threw a pick in OT that gave them field goal posit- that gave them great field goal position and it wasn't that much of a special role performance. The next time they played in the playoffs when the spotlight was on him and everybody was looking down on him, he lost. Joe Burrow. You know what I'm saying? So when you compare him to Jared Goff, let's just be honest here. Jared Goff, they both I mean, he has made it to the Super Bowl and then he lost in the NFC championship game against the 49ers. Right, Joe Burrow made it to the Super Bowl and then lost in the AFC Championship game against uh, the Chiefs. So it's not like you know what I mean. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm and I and I actually love Joe Joe Burrow. You know what I mean as a quarterback. I got high hopes for him this year. I just believe that personally, in my opinion, if he has a bad season or an injury, the perception and the talking points around Joe Burrow will be he's a one hit wonder. You know what I'm saying? Do I feel that way? No, but let's look. Let's look at another quarterback that's similar to Joe Burrow. And now I say similar. Let me get through the point before I truly. So nobody thinks this is crazy or absurd. Carson Wentz. Remember how how big of a how crazy everybody was on him. MVP candidate. His team made it to the Super Bowl. He got injured before, and Nick Foles had to win the Super Bowl the next year. Who are they going to start? It's it's so close. We don't really know. Carson Wentz. He gets injured again, and then he goes to the Redskins. And remember that time period. Everybody was hyped. 
even when he was going to, at that time, the Redskins, now the Commanders, everybody was hyped, yo, he can actually pull something off on the Redskins, he's going to make the Eagles pay, and his career slowly went down, like, it never picked back up, and so, Bro, you, know, you just compare him to Carson. I compared their career. So, uh, hold on, hold so, on, calm so, down, so, calm no, down, no, this no. is what I, I say, calm to, down. I just wanted to say, no, 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 I just wanted to say, I just wanted to get a, a, a QB ranking. You know, either now or at the end of the episode. Just just top five. Just top five in the league. We can do it at the end. I don't want to get far right. our points. But right. top five. So you can ponder it while we keep going. Oh yeah, I'm with it. I got you. Uh this is, we need to segue. I'm glad you brought up Jared Goff because my next point is what are your projections for the Lions this year? Aiden Hutcherson said the Lions are enduring well deserved hype. We understand what we got. What's your perception for the? Uh, yeah. What's your projections for the Lions this year? And mind you, also I, I, have the I don't want. I don't want them talking about it. I want them on some. <laughs> hey, we got so and so week one, and that's what we're worried about. You know what I'm saying? I want them like, let's not act new to this. Let's act true to this. Even though we are mm. new to this, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But let's not. Hey, that's let's keep that in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? You. You know, because, you know, Aiden Young, you know, hey, I, if I'm golf, I'm going to talk to him like, hey, 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 <laughs> we ain't, you know, yeah, we all smell in the air, buddy. But a couple injuries go one way. We ain't Nate. You know what I'm saying? So let's facts, keep facts. in the buck. It's still football. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then Aiden, don't bring, talking about you smell in the air, all of this. Oh, well, all of a sudden, I'm telling you right now, buddy, I'm just stacking big sacks. Big sacks. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, I, it should be, oh, Michael Parsons is doing this, and Aiden Hutchinson is doing this. That's who they need to come up next. <laughs> <laughs> they got, yeah, they got DJ Reed on the line. Like, you know, he was talking about that. Big Sacks, buddy, you talking a lot. <laughs> you talking a lot. You J.J. Watt. Big Sacks. Big Sacks. That's what I expect, bro. I want Aiden should be going off. Oh okay. my god. Oh that's my what I god. expect. <laughs> I expect Aiden to go off. I expect the offense to be so far ahead. Aiden just eating up. You know what I'm saying? And I expect some unexpected losses. Twelve and four was what we were last year, right? Yep. Yeah. Twelve yeah. and four. No, yes. no. Third. It was either eleven or twelve. Wins. Seventeen games. It was either huh? eleven or twelve wins because we had lost to the Cowboys and then we beat the uh, Vikings. I think that was that. No, nah, it was 12. twelve wins, so we were twelve yeah. and five. Yeah. So I expect thirteen and four. Mm. Thirteen and four, and I've seen the schedule. I don't know if they expect yeah. thirteen and four. Nah, I think they expect something reckless. They might be thinking like fourteen and three and fifteen and two in that locker room. Mm. You know, because mm. bro, they don't. Because you got to think about it, bro. Like we didn't really lose. You know what I'm saying? But once or twice, like, okay, you could say we lost to the Ravens. That was a fact. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. But think about it. Who else did we lose to? You know? It's like, you know, in their minds, they probably thinking we clear up our little mistakes, bro. We, You know what I'm saying? We might only lost a game or two. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and but that's perfect football, and that takes, you know, a lot. But that's the beautiful part about having a team that we brought back, you know, and added more young guys. You know, we, we might have that perfect harmony, you know, once again, because everybody's saying, all right, it's only been one year, but it's really been one and a half. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. This 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 ain't just one year magical. Like, no, no, you saw how we ended the half and added more. It came back and had a dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's going to be a continuation. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't lose our coordinators. So, mm. yeah, yeah. I, I smell it in the two in the air, too, Aiden. Yeah, but I man, when I when I say I expect Aiden to be sacking who like the first round of playoffs, you better go dumb. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man, like man. you know, I still got the same expectation. Just win the game in playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Win the yeah. game and make sure we can have a chance to keep going. You know, I do. I think we'll win the NFC. We'll win the NFC North. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I don't know about the whole NFC, but we was in the running last year. Mm. 13 wins, 13 wins might be just enough. It might be. It mm. might be. We might get a first round bye, but I don't even know who I want one. True. True. We got young guys. They can play. 
They need they need every playoff game they could get. No, the facts, facts. I, I completely agree with you. I have high hopes too as well. And I'm I'm very glad that uh we kept our coordinators. I think that was probably the the most slept on move um out of everything. It was the fact that we kept Ben Johnson, um, which was just it, it was just I didn't expect that to happen, to be completely honest with you. I know as we wrapped up last season, I kind of figured I'd expect him to leave. I think the commanders was offering him a nice paycheck. I think a couple other teams was offering him a nice paycheck. And relatively, he chose to stay with us, which speaks a lot to our team's culture. You know, I want to give uh, Dan Campbell big props. You know, he's really he's really done a lot in building that up. So my expectations this year aren't, aren't anything crazy. It is a little bit similar to yours in, in a sense of, like, I, I just want to make sure that we're, like, you know, just last year or better. You know what I'm saying? Last year or better. But the only way I feel like I can properly do the the how I predict them is to kind of play a little game, and that's win or loss looking at the schedule to come. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to list off some teams. I'm going to list off teams from week one till we end the season on where you think we'll actually be at, what you think our record will be at, right? Okay. So week one, we got Rams versus the Lions. What's your projections there? I think we can beat the Rams. I, I think we will beat the Rams. 27 to 24. 27-24. All right. Bucks, Lions. I we, we got dug. that one. That's it. And I do want to say this because you're not gonna first get by. To hold on, hold on. You you are not gonna get first by with to this. You are not. I'm not, going, I'm, I'm not gonna let you get by with this. You you have said before the playoffs started last year that you would rather have Baker Mayfield as your quarterback than Jared Goff. We never got a chance to talk about it. No, 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 no. I didn't say right. Don't try no, to. You don't have to correct it. Same, hold on. I said they are on the same level. And behind the Lions, what the Lions have, yeah, I still yeah. believe that. I still believe that. Mm. I, th- I think Baker would have made 250 million if he was playing behind the Lions, Dang. not just 100. And you know, I'm not gonna spend too much time thinking on that because that, that led to a pretty big argument last time we talked about that. Uh Lions Cardinals. I think we got that one in the bag. I think we can agree there. Uh yeah. Lions Seahawks. I think that'll be 50-50. The Seahawks seem to have our wow. number. 50-50. But I I think look, no, no, no. Uh, it's just you know uh, how the NFL is. You things have are those, different now. Things are different now. Things should have been different last year when we played them. I think we still took an L. It, it was we like we took an L in overtime, yeah, but Things are different. Yeah. Things are even more different now. So you got that. You got that one as a dub. A right? dub. You got that one dub. as a dub, right? 30, so, 30, 31 to 28. Right. 31 to 28. So that's first four games, 4-0. Four oh, Lions up. All right. Lions Cowboys. Dub. All right. 5-0. If, if, oh. Hold on. That's if the NFL allow a dub. Now, we're hey. going to earn the dub. But no, the NFL seriously. can definitely take it away from us. After that like BS they, they pulled. But we'll be undefeated until that point. So we'll earn a dub though. 21 or 17. Man, man. After that, after what they pulled, after that fiasco they pulled last year, man. I don't even want to play the Cowboys next. I can't believe they had that on the schedule. That's ridiculous. Early That's... as hell in the season, too. That's early. probably why they gonna they're gonna let us win because it's early in the year. Then we don't know how much is gonna matter yet. You know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. So that's five and zero. Oh. Lions Vikings. Dub. I mean, a dog walk. Yeah. Forty eight to ten. Right. <laughs> All right. So that's six and zero. Oh. Titans Lions. Dub. Dub. Seven Damn. and zero. Oh. Lions Packers. Okay, that's not that's <laughs> no, that's not Thanksgiving. No, we got somebody else. No, it's, it's not. It's not Thanksgiving. It's it's the third of November. All right. So I, I would say. Yeah. Dub. 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 As, as long as it's not Thanksgiving. Dub, yep, dub. Is that uh, one home? That uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it might be. Uh, so that's eight. That's eight wins. Actually, I think that's away. I believe that's away. It's away. We're gonna beat them at home. We're gonna beat them at home. So that might be the L. I- I'll say we break even on the on the Packers. It's they're just okay. it's the Packers, bro. It's the yes, Packers. I mean we're gonna break even yeah. one and one. So okay. I say, but even at that point, let's say off a hot streak, because we we'd be seven and zero after beating the Titans Alliance. We'd be tight the Titans. We'd be seven and zero, right? So walking into that one with a comp, that could be the seven one. That could be eight and zero, right? I'm gonna leave it at eight and zero, because which I'm gonna leave it at eight and zero for me. I'm gonna okay. leave it at eight and zero. Lions okay. Texans. That's the week after. Look, 
we're not going to sit here. And some of these teams will get dog walked. You know what I'm saying? Some teams, it will be close games. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey no. look. If we lose to the Packers the week before. If Aiden, hold on. If Aiden is backing up his talk, that's a dub. Or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dog? <laughs> Because if Aiden doing his job, bro, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He don't just get sacks. He get picked. Facts. And he wasn't ready for that one. He going to pick you off at that goal line. All Facts. right? So, yeah, bro. Because he, he talking, man. You know, we're healthy. If that's a healthy, you know what I'm saying, everybody's still out there, yeah, that's a dub. That's a dub. The Texans are doing things. You know, yeah. I'll give them that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's still a young quarterback. We got some masterminds behind it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I think yeah, I think we can pull I, I it off. I think we can pull and it no, off. I, I think we can, and they don't play us. They don't know us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you you watch your little tape, but you know what I'm saying you don't really know Thanks. us. You know, I agree. I agree. So I say even right there, that's nine and zero. That's nine wins. The week after that, Jaguars. We don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen with our cornerbacks, bro. We got new guys. You know what I'm saying? No, true. The offense is the same. We got Penny still. We got yeah. you know Glasgow or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got we got everybody still. Yeah, yeah. And not to mention Montgomery, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jamison yeah. Williams getting more involved. Like Man, you know, I don't know what, what Jamison did in the playoffs. Just do that all year. Just do yeah, that yeah. all year. I think you the chemistry, our chemistry is gonna get better, and then Ben Johnson's play call Everybody is gonna get got better. Paid. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know they was like, hey, hey, come out to the house, man. Come out to yeah, I, you saw you saw what I signed for. Hey, you know? facts, hey, hey facts, come facts, out, facts. you know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. talking to J Mo, like, hey bro, come on over, get these runs in with me. You trying man. to get your payday, two more years, you get yours. And the, and the, the way players talk about a team matters tremendously. You know what I'm saying? In terms of their confidence in the team. And every player you've heard speak on our team is all confidence. And it's not undeserved confidence. It's not we're gonna do well, this. Wasn't we missing that. a porter in the for the playoffs? But no, nah, he got injured a little bit. He he had like a banged up knee. Like we had, had a couple of guys that had banged Come up on, knees. Man. Come on. Goff, Goff didn't when that in that NFC championship game, he didn't go uh he didn't he didn't target I don't think he targeted uh Laporta as much. Like I don't think Laporta had many Yeah targets. he was going to fucking Reynolds. Yeah, Reynolds and uh, was and was that money, Reynolds yeah. or was that a uh, was that? Yeah, that was Reynolds. That was the guy that was on the Rams previous. Yeah, I, I don't know. He was fucking the money up though. Big yeah, time. yeah, yeah. No, nah, big fact. We just big needed facts. one first down, bro. We had them, bro. But facts. It's okay. And and it's I'll okay. say this much, just to so we can move on to so we don't spend too much time on this. I'll say, um, obviously we have high hopes for a season based on what we just listed in that in that first ten games. Um, playoff projections. Do you think we'll go? What was the tenth? What was the tenth game? Uh, the tenth game. Uh, it was the Jaguars. I think. Dub. Dub. Yeah. So, so at worst, nine and one at best, ten and zero. Right. But right. You know what's really messed up though? What's that? You know what is messed up? And this is like the the curse, not the curse, but this is what they do when you're a good team. Mm -hmm. Man, our bye week is like week five. Yeah. 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 That's what you know what I'm saying. That's the same thing the the what's the name Patrick Mahomes be getting and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, but yeah, I'm I, I'm, I 50, I'm fifty fifty on that though because I think like I I kind of like it a little bit when they like nah I, I, like, I like to I keep the hot streak so, going. You know, guys be hurt. You know what I'm saying? And like you you want to get that week later on. Now it's gonna feel like such a long like now I want us to win the, the win the whole NFC. You know what well, I'm we can. So we can get that first round by. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to big it up too much. Like, I don't want to be like, "Oh my God, we could really do it." But like, if we just listed off how we felt about the game, see, you know what I'm saying, we would have a legitimate I shot. I thought you going to keep going. I was gonna fuck around and get to 17 and 0. Basically, basically, and <laughs> and then and then to top it off, Jared Goff's a better in in under dome quarterback. If we get the first week by home field advantage at at. At best, we would always be a, a, in a dome for whoever. Man, what is it? Uh, you know the first, and this is also why I think we're gonna start off so hot. You know yeah. the first thirteen out of fourteen games in the dome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I, I completely agree with you. 
I completely agree with you. Not to mention our O line. He's a better. He's a better quarterback. Behind in the, the dome, like he that. might go twelve and one in the dome. So we're gonna be. 12 he and might two. get an MVP if he plays that many games in the dome. It's Jared Goff. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, <laughs> this is the same guy that beat Patrick Mahomes. Let's not forget. You know what I'm saying? In that in that uh, classic of a Monday night game. But anyway, I'm, I am going to transition over to this as we kind of talked about our projections for the Lions, man. Do you think that Trevor Lawrence and Doug Peterson can uh, revive their playoff mojo? My answer, truthfully, is no. Looking at the AFC, we touched a little bit on this earlier. Everybody's going to get better, bro. Everybody's going to get better. I mean, the Ravens are going to get better. The Texans are going to get better. The Bills are going to get – the Bills still got Josh Allen. The Chargers are coming. The Bengals are running it back with everybody they got, and they got Joe Burrow. The Steelers got Russ. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's yeah. getting better. Not to mention you take other teams, the Jets, the Broncos. You know what I mean? Like, do you think that that uh, the Trevor Lawrence and them can actually revive their playoff mojo? And truthfully, I put it like this. It's not that I don't feel like they can't make it to the playoffs. It's just that can they get out of the first round? Absolutely not. This takes me back to a, a, a preposterous uh, a fallacy. Uh, crazy, however you want to word it, point that you made earlier. Oh my now, gosh. this is actually a good version to actually compare to. Carson Wentz, the, he fits this. <laughs> he fits this. You know what I'm saying? Carson Wentz fits and same coach, Doug Peterson. You know? Yeah, um, yeah I pulled that Carson Wentz one out, out the bag on Joe Burrow. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. That was insane. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's why I want to hear that QB ranking, you know. You know, I will say golf is in my top five. But no, he, I just gotta he, say, man, Trevor, Trevor, Trevor Lawrence is yeah, bro. I'm not feeling them, honestly. Like, you know, I don't expect big things for them. You know what I'm saying? I think I, Joe Burrow is everything Trevor Lawrence was supposed to be, and he and he be injured. Thanks. No, no, like, you know what I'm true. saying? Like the darling out of college, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, nah, bro. They keep trying to bring up, you know, they love bringing up Peyton Manning just for about every quarterback. Like, yeah, you know, he was bad the first four years. Like, <laughs> they do like, do all that. All right, bro. Everybody they... ain't about to turn into Peyton Manning. Y'all realize that, right? <laughs> like, facts, facts, like, facts. Yeah, hey, bro. Trevor Lawrence, bro. I mean, more power to him, bro. But like, something going to happen in the NFL soon. Because one of these quarterbacks gonna turn out to be truly not that, and they gonna get, and they gonna have like a three hundred million dollar deal. Yeah, it's gonna be like, you know what? We ain't about to keep paying y'all just to pay y'all. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. you know, because somebody ain't my. Hey, everybody can't live up to it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's like fourteen quarterbacks making like forty plus million. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. only 14 teams can go to the no the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? In total, then you know what I'm saying, somebody gotta lose week one of the playoffs. So it's like, yeah, you're getting 40 plus million. I mean, bro, even Daniel Jones, like, come on, bro. Like, ridiculous, ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's it's bro, like man, I might need to have a side practice now. <laughs> 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 Just be able to get the ball to the receiver. Man, you got a future. <laughs> Come on, bro. Basically, but I, I think that that kind of sums up a little bit how we felt about um uh about Trevor Lawrence and the uh oh, one second. Yeah, I think that kind of sums up a little bit how we felt about Trevor and and uh the Jags, Doug Peterson, the whole crew. I did. I, I'll do this because I was gonna touch. Uh, top primetime games uh, week one as the last segment for today's video. But I I, I might – let's do the, the top five quarterbacks because I'm curious now to hear yours too as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm very curious to hear yours too as well because this yeah. is the same guy that said he would rather have Baker Mayfield as quarterback than Never said Jared that. Goff. Never it's, said it's, that. it's documented. And one of the talking it sports – in one of the talking sports from last year, there was a big argument about the whole thing and the blasphemy of it. I said they were on the same level. Yes, I did. Uh-huh. One got bounced in the second round. One kept going. You know what I mean? I mean, one had the Lions and one had the Bucks. I mean, hey, man, they beat the Eagles. It's a team. They... It's a team sport, bro. It's a team sport. Yeah. You say what you say. 
<clears throat> but so top five quarterback. You want to do top five quarterbacks, so you want to break down these right. uh, top yeah. prime time no. games. Number five. Number five. I'll start with number one, Patrick Mahomes. And now you already got started in the back. Number five. Okay. Jared Goff. No, Jared Goff five. is the fifth best quarterback in this league. I give why? You, I give you Jared Goff. Because he got the Lions. I give you Jared why. Goff. So what's your fifth? Uh, Jared Goff. Lions, you, you got to put him. You got to put him top five. All Not right. to mention, yeah, 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 top five. Yeah. Number, Number four. four. Who you got? Hey, now this Number is four. Me. Who you got? Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is just me. But I'm going Aaron Rodgers. Oh, comeback my God. Year. Oh, my Aaron God. Aaron Rodgers on the comeback year. Oh, my God. Aaron Rodgers Jesus on the comeback Christ. year. Who's your fourth? Jalen Hurts. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot about her. You probably did. <laughs> Didn't forget about the white guy though, but that's not. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. <laughs> no, Rogers is six. Rogers is six. No, no, he's four for <laughs> no, you. No, 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 no. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot about her. I forgot about her. I'm not. I can't disrespect her because the top three in Maine. So no, I got her to at four. I'm gonna put Rogers. Right. Rogers is six. I got. Right. He's coming back. He's coming Look, back this year, bro. I'll make he's it. I'll make back. it faster. I, I don't like Rogers. <laughs> Look. I. It's still, it's still the sport. And the Less than a minute. Sport, I think look, comes back. Less than a minute. Number three, Josh Allen. Number two, Lamar Jackson. And number one, Patrick Mahomes. Oh my God! No, Joe Burrow. No. He got injured no. last year. That's that's the only reason why. Yeah, I'm sorry. Josh Allen's like eight to me. Uh, uh, <laughs> Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow three, uh, Lamar two, Mahomes one. Okay. That, that's what it is. So you know, I okay. got Mahomes. Uh, Lamar, Burrow, Hurts, Goff. Yeah, yeah. yeah Solid year. I, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't Josh, know a guy I, could. Get, I, I didn't know a guy could get injured not Josh, playing. Josh and one Allen guy make it to the playoffs. Above that. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Josh Allen not over. He not over that. Wow. No way. Wow. No way. Wow. But if, if he's that, not over that, bro, all right. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to keep it a buck. Your <laughs> boy ain't over that either. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't. I'll yeah. see you. I'll see you on the 